What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, man. So the thing is this. I'm looking at some recent quotes that Eddie Hearn gave to a podcast with Andre Ward. And he's speaking about Devin Haney. We know that um, Eddie Hearn constantly works with Devin Haney. He's been the promoter that's been working with Devin Haney the most in the last few years. So he's well attuned on what's going on with Devin Haney. Not to mention he was the promoter that promoted Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. And so Eddie Hearn is out here saying that Devin Haney is emotionally and psychologically damaged. And from that fight with Ryan Garcia, and he may not be returning back to the ring until next year. Now we've already seen Devin Haney give signals that he's not looking to come back until sometime next year. However, in recent times, we've seen Devin Haney come back to training. He's now uh, posted some training videos that's kind of going around on the internet. So we know he's back training. So he's looking to come back to the game sometime soon. We also saw Turkey Alashik come out and state that uh, he would see Devin Haney soon on a Riyadh season card. So with that kind of backing, I mean, I would think that Devin Haney will probably want to come back to the game more sooner than later. So the question is, though, I mean, because Eddie Hearn is saying that Devin Haney is psychologically damaged and he's also seeming like he's making a plea when it comes to money for Devin Haney. He's saying that Devin Haney is going to be requesting a lot of money when he comes back when he comes back and fight. So what he's alluding to is he's trying to make it like, listen, Devin Haney, if I get it that you want to sit out and come on back for Ryan Garcia. But clearly he wants to face Ryan for big money. And he, I guess what Eddie Hearn is alluding to is don't just take the fight just for money. Like be ready, be prepared, you know, have a game plan A, a game plan B. Uh, there is no telling which weight that Ryan Garcia may try to drag Devin Haney to by him sitting out of the ring for as long as he has. And we know that Ryan Garcia has never actually made 140 pounds. He's always fought at catch weights. More than likely, the chances are high that Ryan may be coming back and tell Devin Haney, you're going to have to go to a higher weight class. So is Devin Haney prepared for something like that? And so my thing is, I think what Eddie Hearn is kind of alluding to that maybe you should, I don't know, maybe you want to take a soft touch and see where you at, make sure that everything is working, make sure the game plans is working. Um, but if you're just looking at the dollar signs and just wanting to jump back in there for the sake of just trying to make the big money because it's going to be a very in-demand fight once Ryan Garcia returns from his band. So it's like, don't take it for just that reason because things can go left. I think that's what Eddie is trying to say in these particular matters. My thing is number one, Devin Haney need to be figuring out what to do about the damn left hook fight fans. There is no way in a million years that Ryan Garcia was landing that left hook damn near every time he threw it. That's the big problem. Let's start right there. I'm sure that whatever Devin Haney is going to be working on, uh, staying away from the left hook should be priority number one. I mean, granted that Devin Haney in the article even alluded to this, that Devin Haney has been getting away for a while with the whole grabbing a lot of opponents when they kind of get closer to him. You know, Devin Haney has been coming in fights bigger than his opponent. So he's been able to perhaps get that physical strength advantage by tangling up a lot of guys on the inside. Uh, attempting to do that against a guy like Ryan Garcia that specializes with short little left hooks like that, hey, that's not a good thing because he's going to check you all night long. You know what I mean? So that's just one of the things that I think maybe maybe Eddie Hearn is alluding to. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to say, look, Devin, man, you got to make sure all of these I's are dotted and T's are crossed, bro, especially the one that that's in the word left hook. You know what I'm saying? Real spill, fight fans. Uh, according to Eddie Hearn, and he says, and I quote, Everyone is going to be calling for the rematch with Ryan, but that won't be until the middle of next year. Uh, Haney, so are you going to stay at 140 or are you going to go to 147? You've got to take the right fight. He still wants a lot of money to fight. Devin has made a lot of money, but you really got to want it, end quote. So I guess he's saying that Devin Haney shouldn't just come back strictly just to kind of make a big payday. He should put money to the back and be looking to maybe get back and do the right things, uh, take a, a maybe a soft touch, get his confidence back, get his timing back, get his rhythm back, and then maybe go into a bigger name fight. And so also Eddie Hearn is also leading quotes out there that, listen, man, um, you know, his love for the game may not be the same as what it once was. 
And he's saying that if Eddie, if, if uh, Devin Haney is looking to come back with just strictly money, then that would show that his love for the game is not what it used to be. So this is very key for what Eddie Hearn is saying. As he goes on and says, and I quote, I don't think that he's rushing back. I think that he's lost some love for the sport through what happened. He's taking a little bit of a beating that night. Now, the question is, how bad do you want it? The minute, the minute a fighter starts fighting for money, just one more, they're not the same fighter. Oof, damn. He says also, and I quote, do I still have it? Do I still want it? I've got 15 million in the bank. Life is good. Am I still hungry? Because you know, once the hunger goes, end quote. So man, Eddie Hearn is out wondering about the hunger of Devin Haney. I don't know, man. I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, but he's, like I said before, he's also alluding to the fact that Devin Haney is emotionally and psychologically damaged. And he says that with this quote, he showed an unbelievable heart. I think the defeat is quite psychologically and emotionally damaging for Devin. And I think that it will take him a while to get over it. I don't think that he'll fight again this year, end quote. My thing is, uh, Devin Haney ain't got no reason to be psychologically nor emotionally damaged from the loss to Ryan Garcia. Get it that the, the Ryan Garcia fans is going to jump all over Devin Haney. I get it. The Javante Davis fans is going to jump all over Devin Haney. However, that's mainly due to his father, Bill Haney, and all of the dust that he kicked up before this fight. But also the fact that Ryan Garcia is like the in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the biggest cheater in sports. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what Ryan Garcia did was clearly totally foul, totally wrong. Um, if Devin Haney would have maybe had the opportunity to do some of the things that Ryan would have had done with all of the cheating and the juicing and so on and so forth, I'm sure that Devin would have probably been a much stronger, much better fighter. I don't think that Devin Haney has any reason to hold his head down, not to mention karma really paid Ryan a visit after the fight when Ryan was out here saying all of those reckless statements and end up going into being becoming a racist, you know what I'm saying, from the things that he said. So if anything, Devin Haney should be holding his head up. Karma is kicking uh, uh, Ryan's ass. You see Ryan is out here just doing anything to try to keep himself relevant and uh, and hope to line up something big. He's even reaching out to Turkey Alashik and hoping that Turkey Alashik will work with him as well. So, you know, Ryan right now is, is in the abyss, man. I mean, you should be happy that you're in the light. You had your loss overturned. You got no reason to hold your head down. You got buku money in the bank. You know what I mean? Like, Devin Haney has no reason to be psychologically nor emotionally damaged. If anything, he should be having a chip on his shoulder and wanting to come back and prove to those Ryan Garcia fans that, listen, bro, your boy was a cheater, nothing more, nothing less, and I'm going to punish this dude the next chance I get. You know what I'm saying? He should be on some type of train like that. But all of that holding your head down emotionally, like a lot, nah, man, you got cheated. Cheated big time, Holmes. So don't even be sweating that, you know what I'm saying? So Eddie Hearn, man, my thing is, look, man, if you are promoting Devin Haney, bro, you ain't making him look any kind of good right about now. Saying statements like he's emotionally and psychologically damaged, uh, putting it out there that, you know, man, he shouldn't be asking for a bunch of money and, and, and questioning his hunger. Like, what kind of promoter is you, bro? Like, why is uh, Eddie Hearn coming out here making Devin Haney look so weak in this moment? I would think that as his promoter, you will want to make him look strong in these moments. But clearly, I'm sure the Tank fans is going to see this. The Ryan fans is going to see this and they're going to have a field day. All thanks to Eddie Hearn, man. Keep up the good work. Thumbs up on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, share, 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 rock the bells. I hope Devin Haney is not, you know, too damaged behind this. Not behind cheating ass, racist ass Ryan. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully he keeps his head up, get his he get his head back in the game and come on back to the sport, man. Real spill, man. And as for Eddie Hearn, if you represent De Devin Haney, bro, you need to do a better job, man. Because right about now, you straight up, it seems to me, you kind of exposing some things. But hey, maybe I'm reading it wrong. To the next video, fam. Peace out.